care about the points. This is great. Today they've been asked to bring in the most surprising thing from their wardrobes. I have brought in an antique Japanese kimono. I bought it specifically for you about 17 years ago. I saw it in a charity shop window and I thought there's only one person I know who's big enough to wear that. So I looked it up, it's actually worth thousands of pounds. I didn't realise. You've had multiple opportunities to find <laughs> me and give me my gift. You tell me, you can tell, you tell me then when I could have given you this. You, you At any point in the last 17 years. Oh, I'm not the great. Scarlet Pimpernel, oh, I live in London. Me. <laughs> I put it to you. No, I put it I to you. I put it to you. Not you, only do I put I, it to you. I put it back to you. <laughs> you bought that kimono, not realising it was expensive. You were going to give it to me, then you found out it was worth something, <laughs> and you kept it for yourself! I am horrified. <laughs> Use the cement mixer for something other than mixing cement. Best use of a cement mixer other than mixing cement wins. Your time starts when Alex does an impression of you. I'm Chris Ramsey! <laughs> Time hasn't started yet, then. I'm, fr I'm afraid it has. <laughs> Where are you from? Gloucester. Taskmaster. Uh, are you joking? Hi, babes! <laughs> Thanks a million. <laughs> <laughs> and is Linda... Linda's happy, is she? She is happy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Linda, here we go. <laughs> this is all. This is all part of the part of the plan. Welcome to the sausage arena. Your sausage is on the red stick and ribbon. My sausage is on the blue stick and ribbon. The first person to swallow a piece of their sausage and only their sausage wins. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm too scared. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it's so fast. It's so much faster than I thought it was. Find all ten ducks. You must stay in the lab. Fastest wins. You have a maximum of 20 minutes. Your time started when you entered the lab. Is this your tea? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, where are you from? Uh, West Sussex. No. <laughs> ah! Oh, found one! Really? Yeah. That's a stray duck. That's a duck. Yeah, that's a duck we didn't know was there. Did she draw the duck on my face? No, no, I, mm. Is there a duck on my face? Judy found a stray duck that genuinely we'd put on the wall years ago for another task. <laughs> Which is quite odd. So she Bonus found a duck. Yeah. She also said, is there a duck on my face for ages? Yeah. yeah, because you just kept on looking at me strange. I wish we had a still of the picture of you under that light. <laughs> Was there a duck on my face? Well, let's find out in a minute. <laughs> Was there a duck on my face? <laughs> I am struggling to see how it would excite the, the alien life force because of their advanced technology, Chris. Well, we don't know. It's all hypothetical. I mean, I, I, I'm looking at you, Alex. You didn't even like the bit at the beginning. It's about it's an alien. We don't know anything about these aliens. Oh, he's gone too Geordie for me. <laughs> <laughs> Last time. Let's crack on. Yes, I suppose so. And I suppose the category for episode three is the item that sounds funniest when you say its name over and over again. Bridget, <laughs> you've got your work cut out. Stop cock. Yes, she thought. <laughs> I think for the first Funny. time in TV quiz history, the winner will win a stop cock. I want to hear stop cock repeated. Stop cock, stop, stop cock, stop cock, stop, stop cock, stop. <laughs> Babe, stop don't go on your knees. <laughs> a part of your body out of the shower curtain and waggle it about for 10 seconds. The taskmaster will guess what part of the body it is. 
the biggest part of the body that the taskmaster incorrectly identifies wins. Maybe I can get you. Can I have a wooden spoon, please? On its way. With some yogurt on it. No, no, no yogurt. Hold the yogurt. Um, Arvin, I am sort of intrigued by the wooden spoon and the yogurt. Will that become apparent? I imagine. <laughs> The thinking at the time was that if I could maybe beat some part of my body with the wooden spoon, it might swell into a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine that would be it. <laughs> into an unlikely shape. I don't know. OK, well, it's Ardle next. This is going to be difficult, because whatever body part it is, is going to be beaten out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at this and do your best. It's hard to believe that a wooden spoon could do that much damage. What is that, Greg? It's Ardle's arm, obviously. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing trousers? <laughs> you don't need to not wear trousers. I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't know. He was hoping that you would think it was his neck. <laughs> that was his plan. <laughs> what are you talking about? Answer Alex's phone call. If you find a cuddly toy, you must carry it with you until you answer Alex's phone call. Also, you must be making a noise over 50 decibels for at least 50% of the time. Until you... This is this, what, 62? Des yeah, 62 again. Until you answer Alex's phone. Fastest wins. This is where we started, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're going back, are we? <laughs> what, what are we doing again? You're trying to answer my phone call. Clock's ticking, Bridget. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are we on the clock? Yeah. Why? I'm just looking... Stop talking to the camera, people. Oh. <laughs> if I do this, we won't have to... J Jack? No, good. OK. I'm a bit sick of going in here. Me too. Where else might there be a phone? In the shed? No, I've been in there. Why are you dressed like that? You winded me up. It's a joke, Mark. Oh, I see. It's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> I'm going to storm off. Like Piers Morgan. It's to create buzz. It's too hot. It's this is years. the same it's... temperature as something that's burning. Because it's so hot. Permanent tan. What? <laughs> It lived in the Pink Palace, it's a real flat. It's real? People of colour should be driving HGVs across channels, not presenting them. Seriously? Yeah. I don't know if that could... <laughs> <laughs> you had the milk on your tongue. What would your reaction be? You on it? No? I would vomit. <laughs> I'm barely holding on here. If you get shot, they need to get you out of there! You don't like talking absolute rubbish. Mm. You always look like an account, which is so <laughs> ironic. <laughs>